You see, since the last video I made about this beautiful trailer here you find behind me, uh, my custom cargo trailer, um, I've had a ton of comments, a lot of uh, you know likes, dislikes, a little bit of everything. So a lot of questions about why did I waste this much money on a trailer? Why did I do this? Why did I do that? I don't like this. I do like that. You know how it is. A lot of people are gonna. Some people are gonna like. Some people are not gonna like. But overall, let me give you guys a little background about this. So I've been camping in RVs my whole life since I was pretty much six months old. My parents started from a pop-up trailer. Uh, they went then into a class, C, well, a couple class C's. Then they went to a travel trailer, and ultimately we did everything from tents when we were in Boy Scouts to you know everything you can pretty much think of. And when I got to the age of buying my own trailer, I did. I purchased my own trailer, which you guys can see some of the videos on my channel. And then I got a tent. You guys can see some of the tents. I wanted to show the kids, you know, what it was like to camp without the luxuries of having an RV. Granted, we did have an AC and a fridge, but still wanted to get a little more of that rustic camping vibe to it. And um, everything on the market, you know, you can find all kinds of RVs out there that are going to work for you. They're going to have, you know, this or that, or going to have, you know, a couple things that are, are going to be like, okay, this one's good for me, but it's never going to have everything you want. Granted, this trailer here doesn't have every single thing I want, but it has close to everything I need. Right, so you can customize these things. Similar to a lot of people, why do they customize their vehicles? Why do they, you know, make things remodel their homes? Why do they add additions to their to their rooms or things like that? Because you want to customize it to the things you like, the things you need, and what just makes sense for you. So when I did this trailer, yes, I could have probably just gone out there and purchased a, a trailer for the same exact price, more or less, and uh, you know, not have had to build it. But would it have been to my specifications? Would it have been to what I like, to my desires, to my needs? Probably not, right? And this trailer doesn't check all the boxes, uh, but it does check a lot of them. Starting with this cargo area back here. So as you can see, we're pretty much packed up, ready to go for our next trip. And we just have our things we can just load up into here. Can we do this with a toy hauler? Yes. But like I said, this is customized to what I need. So we grab all our things and we just kind of toss them in here. We can load that back door, bring it up, bring it down. And it's in a very small form and a very small package. So you can easily tow this thing around. It does not weigh very much. Pretty much park it anywhere. Um, I do have the entire thing, if you saw my other video, running on solar. So you can run this entire system and this entire uh, RV on solar. So we can run the fan on it, but we just can't run the AC. But many other RVs, you can't run the AC unless you have a very big battery bank system, which I went with just two batteries. Uh, Cause it's pretty much sufficient for what we need. Most of the camping we do, cause uh, you know, where we live, it's gonna be with hookups. So we go to a lot of campgrounds where we can do a lot of hookups with our electricity and water. You see, most RVs of this size don't come with a shower this big. But anyways, that's not what this video is about. I already made a video showing you guys the whole trailer. So I wanted to give you guys a little bit of details. But anyways, I wanna to review today our Gazelle Gazebo tent. Let's show you what that looks like. That's what this bad boy here is. And I got some extra panels. So let's take it outside and review it now. All right, so what we got here is our Gazelle Gazebo, gazebo tent. We've used it a couple times. So far, we like it very much. So I bought these wind panels for it. Um, it's to protect it from all the sides. So what we basically brought it for is, so when it gets cold or it rains, we can close it off from the sides and not get wet. Haven't set it up with the side wall, so let's test it out. But we have to use this one. It comes up very easy. Let's set it up, see what it looks like. So this is what it looks like from the outside. I didn't set the stakes on the side uh, because I'm not gonna leave it up permanently set up right now. But it is very big. And as you can see, when you walk inside, you have a lot of height all the way to the top. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna set up the sidewall panels, which I haven't done yet, and just see what it looks like. And see that really shields you from the wind and the rain. So I think you kind of get the point. 
you put the wall panels up and this is what it looks like i read the packet and i didn't notice that it says it's for the wind not for the rain but i think i'm gonna do a good enough job of at least keeping the rain as well not getting the things inside wet or the people inside wet so anyways hope you like this video stay tuned for the next one